One feature I've always wished was part of the default experience in WordPress is the ability to set an image from your media library as your default featured post image. This way we can easily avoid inconsistencies like these when the posts are displayed on the front end whether or not there's a featured image assigned. A placeholder image might not be the most exciting but I'll take that over a missing image any day. In this video, I'll show you how you can set an image from your media library as your default featured image. And if you're wondering whether this is also possible for custom post types, I've also got you covered. So let's get into it. Before anything, you want to make sure you have a suitable image that can serve as your placeholder image across your website. Here I have an SVG image already uploaded to my media library. I'm going to share a link to this particular SVG file so you can also download it and possibly even customize it. One of the reasons I love SVG files is that they are infinitely scalable. So they don't lose quality and you can easily customize them in any suitable design software like Illustrator or even some online SVG editors. So here I have this image already uploaded which is going to serve as my default featured image. You could even go ahead and customize it according to your clients or your website's brand guidelines and so on. So here is just, well, it's a basic featured image. You could also upload your own, but that's what I'm going to be making use of in this video tutorial. Speaking of implementing this feature, there are two ways you can approach it. The first method is to use a plugin that's really clean and you can easily implement that for however many post types you have. The second way is to use a code snippet. So I'm going to be showing you both methods and you can pick and choose whichever one is more convenient. So I'm going to go into the plugin section and search for a plugin named default featured image. Now you'll find a number of them here, but I really like this one here since I've compared them and I find that this one set up default featured image it turned out to be really useful in terms of features. It's also a very new plugin here it's, as at the time of making this video, we see it's, it was updated two weeks ago and it's practically in version 1.0 so it's really new so i'll just install this one now here i am in my list of plugins unfortunately you don't get a direct link to set it up or anything you're just going to find that there is an extra menu item now on the wordpress dashboard and here are the options you get i believe here i've already set up some of these images here but you can go ahead and set them up again yourself and choose whichever image you want. So here I have posts, pages, products. What we are concerned about are the posts. So I'll go into posts, enable default images, and then set image. So from here, you can pick out whichever image you want to use as your default image across the site. In this case, I'm using this one and I'll click set as featured image. The same can go for pages or products, whichever one applies to what you are working with. In this case, I'm going to do that for posts and products. Products here being a custom post type, which I've prepared using ACF. But that could be anything, maybe testimonials and whatever you have there. So I'll go here to products and make sure that's set to yes. And then I'll set the same image. One of the features of this plugin is that it allows you to choose different images for different um, custom post types. So. I set this already as my default for WordPress blog posts. I could choose this as my default image for products. So I'll set that as my featured image. Another thing that it allows you to do, I'll just click save first. Under the advanced settings, of course there's a typo there, but <laughs> just we can easily ignore that. And I'm going to come here and say add new rule. Here you can get more granular with regards to where and how you want each featured image implemented. There's a very high likelihood that you may not need to use any of these rules, but if that's the case, then it's always nice to have. I never really needed to touch this area. So I'll go back to general setting. And when I go onto the front end and refresh my list of blog posts, you find out that I have this featured image applied. Now, this is assuming that you've already set up your blog cards in Bricks Builder and you have that field set up for featured images. Now, even if I were to click into the blog post, you'll find that even the field for featured images is populated as well. So you can have that blog post with your default featured image. It's just nice to have because then it doesn't break the grid and you can even go 
a step further and color these according to the site's brand colors so everything looks cohesive and consistent so that's that for the plugin method the second way to implement this feature on your website would be to use the code snippet so first of all i've gone ahead to deactivate the plugin to avoid any potential conflict and then i'll go on to this blog post here from wholight.b which i'm also going to link in the description below so you can follow along now there are two versions of this snippet the first version is pretty simple it pretty much allows you to apply the default image treatment to all posts on the website so from pages to um, custom post types to blog posts everything it, it just inherits it and it's pretty straightforward the only thing you need to update in the snippet would be the image id that you wish to use as your default featured image beyond that nothing else needs to change just copy the code paste in your functions or php file or maybe wp code box whatever snippet manager you use activate it and you're good to go but then the second version of the snippet gives you a little more control so of course you can set the image id but you also need to specify which posts on the website would inherit the default featured image. So in this case, you got your post, which will be your blog post, and then any other custom post types you have. So if, for example, on the site, you've got a custom post type for products, testimonials, and maybe I want the default featured image to be only available for posts and products, then I can go ahead and just specify that in this array for posts and products and then any other post type will not be considered for the default image treatment so this gives you a little more control which is why i'm going to use this one for this example so i'll click here to copy the code and then go back to the website and just open up my code manager here i already have a copy of the snippet which is already set up so in here i have my post specified which is blog post and products now if you need to know what the custom post type slug is you can check the url so here i have products listed on my dashboard and when you take a look at the url below you notice at the end there you got post type equals products now that's the value we will use as our post type slug and this is consistent for all custom post types and then for the image id i have 96 here which is the reference the id of that particular default image you can also find the image id by opening your media library and you, all you need to do is set it to the list view that way you can see the id column now if the id column is still missing for you you can go into screen options and ensure that id column is checked so you can see that Another way you can also see the ID, of course, would be to look at the URL. So if this is the image I want to use, just take a look at the URL down below. You'll notice there is a value there for post equals 96. So that's the value you want to use as your image ID. So back in WP Codebox, I just update my code and then activate it. Now that it's activated, we can come back to the post. So I'll just open the post. Now, here's the thing about the snippet. It's not going to work immediately. You've got to publish the post. It's in the process of publishing that the snippet runs to check if there is a featured image already applied to it. And it's part of the conditions built in here. So it says if the post type is being published without a featured image specified, then implement the image which has this id as the default featured image so that's pretty much what it does it only works in the process of publishing so in this case where i have this post already published without the featured image i have to go back in and edit the post set it to draft okay and then publish again so now when i publish it the script has the opportunity to run when i take a look at the list here you'll notice there's something here but it's not quite there i believe it's because it's, it's an svg image so it's not really you can't really get a preview but it's working so now when i come here and refresh my page you'll notice there's a featured image already assigned here and so if you're the type who doesn't want to have an extra plugin that you need to update you could go with the snippet preferably 
it's nice to have before you ever start updating the website or adding posts so that way whatever needs to run to fulfill that condition will have that opportunity and you can have your default featured image from the onset so you let me know in the comments which method you prefer whether it's the plugin or the snippet feel free to post in the comments if you have any questions or need clarification and if you found this tutorial helpful I'd encourage you to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on more nifty tutorials that I have planned. You can also go the extra mile by using the link in the description to buy me a coffee or three if you found this video helpful. So I'll see you in the next one. Stay nifty.